Hello. Today, we're going to be looking at some hosting services to provide free VPS, or a virtual private server, essentially a computer that runs in the cloud 24-7, and would be able to host something such as a Discord bot. Before we get in any further, I want to run a brief overview of these services. For the free VPSs, the first three options don't ask for credit card information. The reigning free VPSs I will cover are completely free as well, but they do ask for a verification with a valid credit card to avoid abuse of services. My goal is to briefly outline the pros and cons of each provider and go over a brief review of my experiences with them. Be sure to watch to the end because I will be covering a free, but fairly unpopular, but extremely reputable hosting service with an amazing deal towards the end of the video. First on my list is Glitch.com. The service has been around for a while and has been one of the best free host providers out there. The CPU is very weak, but usable for small projects. The amount of memory is 512 megabytes and the disk is 200 megabytes. On the pro side of things, this host per has no credit card verification requirements and is extremely beginner friendly and includes even a built-in code editor with auto-saving capabilities. On the con side, however, Apps that are inactive for 30 minutes or longer will automatically go offline, so you'll need to set up a pinging service like Uptime Robot in order to keep it online. There is also no private repositories for the free plan, which means that if you set up a project with them, all of your code will be completely publicly accessible to anyone on the web. My experience with this bot, this was one of my first hosts. As I mentioned before, this was extremely beginner friendly. However, the CPU limitations is very bad, so sometimes installing node dependencies takes a very long time. In addition, I ran into issues with project suspensions. I was using this to host a Discord bot for a while, but after about two times, my project started using a lot of memory, which resulted in Glitch.com suspending my project, meaning my bot went offline and I had completely lost access to the project. And it wasn't until I contacted support before they were able to undo this and provide me once again access to the code and to fix any memory issues I was having. But this is definitely not an ideal experience. Second on the list is REPL.IT. The service provider is very similar to Glitch and the offerings of the free plan is practically identical. The CPU specs is 0.2 to 0.5 virtual CPUs. Memory and storage is both 500 megabytes. On the pro side, again, no credit card verification and is extremely beginner friendly. And on the con side, it again requires an uptime robot ping every 30 minutes in order to keep it online. And again, there's no private repositories. My experience, I have not used this in a bunch of significant manners. I've used this to host a Discord music bot in the past, and it's okay, and I never really ran into any trouble with it. The third provider on the list is Heroku. So this is another great free service provider. Although you can use a service without a credit card, if you don't verify with a credit card, you can't host a bot 24 seven for the entire month. It only provides you like 550 dino hours, while there's approximately 730 hours in each month. However, once you verify with a credit card, the amount of free dino hours you have increases to a total of a thousand, which means you get the free hosting for the entire month. For their free dino, their specification is CPU, one CPU share and one to four compute units. Heroku uses these arbitrary units, and to be honest, I don't really understand what they are, but it should be sufficient enough for a smaller Discord server bot. Memory provides is 512 megabytes, and storage is different from all the previous offerings. It is ephemeral, meaning that you should use a separate service for storing persistent files such as databases. On the positive side of things, it requires no credit card verification for the 550 dino hours plan, and it allows you to have private projects. However, on the negative side, it again has 30 minutes of auto sleep regardless of the credit card verification. It has no persistent storage as mentioned earlier, and you must use a repository in order to upload your code. And non-verified credit card accounts cannot host for 24 seven for the entire month. Number four on the list is GCP, Google Cloud Platform. This is a very credible service provider that's highly reputable. Although I do recommend if you have a credit card for verification to use the next free provider I will cover instead. The free specification is CPU is 0.25V CPU, memory is one gigabyte and disk is 30 gigabytes. 
GCP is quite reliable and provides a decent amount of free resources for you to host a small Discord bot. On the pro side of things, it does allow you to have a private project and it is reputable, but on the negative side, it does require uh, credit card verification and it is a bit difficult to set up. Now for my experience, my experience was quite awful due to the limitations of the CPU size. It was also at this point that my projects were beginning to get a little larger and contain more NPM dependencies, which made this VPS struggle significantly. But apart from that, I have not really had many issues. Now, the next VPS I'm covering is, hands down, the best free host I've ever came across and is an incredible deal. Before we get into this, I want to ask that if you found this video helpful so far, do leave a like. Let me know which host you'd like me to make a tutorial on first in the comment section, and stay subscribed to get notified when that does come out. Number 5, Oracle. This is the best free host I've ever come across, and for some reason, not that many people that I've talked to are aware of their free tear. They offer two whole VPSs, each with two virtual CPUs, 1GB RAM, and 50GB of disk space. This is definitely more complicated to set up compared to many of the previous providers, since it involves setting up an SSH key with a private key. It is the best deal in this video, and I highly, highly recommend this if you are able to verify with a credit card. Now that's all for this video. Thanks for watching till the end. I will be doing tutorials on how to host a Discord bot with some of these hosts soon, so if you're up for that, please subscribe for the notification. Thanks so much for watching.